All right, guys, I'm going to do a video on parallel wiring versus series parallel wiring and the benefits of the wiring. All right, I got a band hammer D4, and I'm going to let you all see how this works and what will best fit your configuration when you're using amplifiers. All right, so what is series and parallel wiring? All right, series, parallel wiring is when... You, well, hold on for a minute. Let me get my speaker wires real quick. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, parallel wiring. All right, the first thing you want to do, you want to make sure that you measure your coils to make sure that the impedance is the same. All right, make sure with your terminals right here. And once you set this, make sure that you set the ohm to 200, anything between 0 to 200. I would normally put mine as a 200, all right? So now what you want to do is you want to check your voice coils to make sure that the impedance is right. So if you look at mine, it's reading 4, 4.1, 4 ohms, all right? So these set of voice coils right here is good. Now I'm gonna check the other one. All right, and as you see, as you put the coils in, the ohms will go down. Just give it some time and it'll go down. And as you see, these coils are reading four ohms. All right, so that lets me know I have dual four voice coils. So that lets me know I can start my wire configuration. Now, basically, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do parallel wiring. All right, what is parallel? Parallel wiring is when you add the positive voice coil to the other positive voice coil. Then you add the negative voice coil to the other negative voice coil, all right? Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my red, I have a red one and I have a black one. So I'm gonna place the red inside the positive. I'm gonna turn the speaker around on the subwoofer. I'm gonna place it on the positive right here. All right, then I'm gonna get the negative The negative wire in there. Then I'm gonna place it in the negative. All right, now I have both of my voice coils together. All right, now when you wire your subwoofers in parallel, you're basically cutting your ohm load in half. That's basically what you're doing. You're cutting this in half. So basically, four ohms is gonna be two ohms. All right. That is parallel. Now, once you wire them together, I'm gonna check my voice coils, make sure that they're good. You see, I got the negative and the negative, and I have the positive and the positive. And as you see, it's continuously going down. So it's about 2.1, 2.2, something like that. So roughly two ohms, all right? And that's basically parallel wiring. Now with this parallel wiring, when you go down to two ohms, you need to make sure that you have a two ohm stable amp or higher, all right? Two ohm stable amp or higher. If you get a one ohm amp and you wire this down to two ohms, that amplifier is not gonna see its maximum power, all right? So it's best if you wire these from four ohms to two ohms in parallel, make sure that you get an amplifier that puts out its maximum ratings at two ohms, all right? Or you can get something like, uh, they have like a three ohm app, which in our car audio world never has that, all right? But this is basically um, parallel wiring to a, with a subwoofer, all right? 
And like I said, you can do multiple subs. The only thing you have to do, you just do the same thing with another sub. All right, you wire power, um, positive to positive, negative to negative on the other sub. And then the final lead, let's just say we have two subs connected. All right, we have two subs connected. This is the final run. You're just gonna put that last positive, last positive and you're gonna put that last negative in that last subwoofer. And these two runs right here, these two speaker wires, these are gonna go straight to the amplifier. And that's how you'll get your one ohm load if you were to wire uh, two subwoofers together or two D4s, all right? You'll get that one ohm load, all right? So that's basically uh, parallel wiring in a nutshell. And like I say, parallel wiring, uh, that's, that is the most common wiring that is used because you get most of your power in parallel wiring because the resistance is cut in half, all right, and it's getting lowered. So if you see a lot of people these days uh, in car audio world, they're lowering their, sump, their, their, uh, their woofers down to like 0 0.5, 0 0.25, and that's because they're, you, they're, they're constantly... Uh, putting all the subwoofers in uh, parallel, all right. Some of them maybe do may do series parallel, depending on how many subwoofers they have, all right. But um, parallel also um, it degrades your sound quality, all right. Me, I kind of like sound quality. My amplifiers that I got are point fives, but um, I like parallel. I like parallel one because you get the most power, but. Um, you definitely degrade the sound quality when you go down in ohm load, so keep that in mind. All right. Next, I'm 